Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Tuesday. It is January 31st, 2012. We're going to be looking at a couple of markets today. And this one, the first thing I want to look at today is the VIX, the Volatility Index, and it runs the inverse of the S&P 500. So if you're looking at a down market in the VIX and you're looking at an up market in the S&P and vice versa. If you were looking at the S&P as being peaking, then you'd be looking at the VIX saying, I should be seeing a bottom here. And that's what I think we're seeing here. So I want to bring this to your attention. You could actually trade this uh, if you were so inclined. Um, what we have here is obviously a downtrend. It's been going on for a while. We've been monitoring this. And I think back here on this particular day when this candlestick formed here, we told you that you had a hammer candlestick formation there. And you could trade this to the long side using this low right here as your stop. And then you'd be a buy or anything in that range, right? And so you had a little move to the upside here. You could have made a couple bucks on that little trade right there in a very short term move. However, I want to draw something else to your attention now. And this is another hammer candlestick formation here. And hammers of, them, of themselves are important to note whenever you see them because they're telling you there's a support line there. There's something there that is um, providing support. And in this case, because we're looking at the VIX, then we should be seeing resistance in the S&P 500 and, you know, global markets, which we already know we are because I already drew that out to your attention yesterday. So looking at this point here, I want to show you that you've got this move to the downside here, this move to the upside, a lower fall here, then a higher high, and now a higher low. Looks like the start could be forming right here of a new uh, trend from a downtrend to now an uptrend. So you could actually buy this at 1944 or lower, if at all possible, with a stop set off this low and potential move to the upside here. You also notice that it's being confirmed by the ultimate oscillator. A break above the 50 line, the middle line in the ultimate oscillator, uh, shows that you're, you're now getting into bullish territory, which is what you're seeing in the chart as well. So these things are confirming uh, the actual activity that I'm showing you here on the chart. And it's important to you because if you're long the U.S. markets or any individual company, uh, you should be concerned. You should be starting to see topping signs or something like that. If you're starting to see those signs, you could know why. Uh, you're hitting resistance in the overall markets. And if you're doing that in overall markets, then you're going to be doing that in individual stocks because the markets are simply an average of individual stocks, right? It all makes sense to everybody. Okay, let's move on to the next chart. Okay, a quick look here at silver. We've been long this one for a while. Uh, you had an opportunity back here trading off this hammer formation. We have videos on our website to explain how to trade off the hammer formation. If you've not seen them, go to the trade school uh, at perfectstockalert.com. You can watch the videos as many times as you need to. Uh, right here, we also told you you had a buy opportunity because it had a stop just below this neckline right here. We saw this move right here to be duplicated outside of the breakout right here. Well, we got pretty darn close. Uh, then you also notice this previous resistance line right here where you found resistance there and sold off from that. That's where you're finding resistance now. What would I do? i take my profits and run, plain and simple. All right, the last chart we're going to be looking at here is a French CAC 40 index. And basically, we're just seeing a, uh, what we believe to be the, the topping pattern forming in overall global markets. Uh, you'll notice that you've had this move. It's been in a strong uptrend for a while here. We did draw this to your attention until you've got a bearish divergence forming right here that tells us that we're probably topping. And we want to wait for price to start confirming that. What does that mean? It means price needs to start breaking down. We need to start seeing lower lows and lower highs. Well, note the low points here, 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 and then all of a sudden we drop off a cliff. All right, now that we've dropped off a cliff, the next thing we want to see is a, a move to the upside that's actually making a lower series of highs. And that's basically what we're seeing with today's activity. We jump back up as though yesterday never happened and try to advance, but we can't hold it into the close and we sell back off, giving us another shooting star candlestick formation, yet another sell signal. It's just showing a weak chart to say the least. And the only reason why you got any support here momentarily was because the previous resistance here is now acting as support. That's why you're seeing that. Okay, you saw resistance here, you saw resistance here, you broke out here, broke out again here, and now you're finally a bit of resistance there. I mean support now. And so that's what's keeping it afloat at the moment. So I am putting my neck out there on this short call here. So what I would do is keep a tight stop. If you short at this particular point in time or any place higher, you want to keep a tight stop. Right there, the previous high is where I put the stop at. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend or a pet or whatever you might have. Okay. God bless. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.
Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.